Right, any of you that have got a Myford lathe will know that you're very restricted on what size turning tool that you can actually use. If you have the quick change tool post and the tool holders, you can definitely get away with 8 and 10, but rarely can you use like a 12 millimeter shank tool unless you actually mill the underside off here. And the problem with using the quick change um, tool post and tool holders is that the actual holders clash with the compound slide at the back here. And that prevents the tool holder from going down far enough to achieve the centre height with the larger tools like the 12mm shank turning tools. And some of you may remember that some time ago I did a video on this and I showed that you can actually mill the underside off of the tool holder, just the back corner here, so as to allow the tool holder to drop down further and it would actually miss that compound slide and therefore you could actually use the larger square turning tools. And that did work fine, um, except that some of these tool holders are very hard. I had um, one or two soft ones and could actually mill that off quite easily. Then I tried some others and they were very hard. And you may remember I said that I had to anneal them to make them soft so that I can actually mill them off. And I've been thinking about it on and off. Um, since I've done that video what would be an actual better method for actually removing this corner without having to anneal the tool holder and without having to use um, an end mill and I haven't got any access to a machine tool uh, grinder which would be ideal for doing this I thought about using an angle grinder um, but I was put off of that idea because a freehand grinding of this um, back piece here you wouldn't get a nice straight edge and it would look messy and I don't like anything like this looking messy on the lathe. And it was actually by thinking about the angle grinder this morning that I came up to the solution and a better method of actually doing this. So this is the solution to the problem and my new method of actually doing this job. I've turned down this piece of um, two inch aluminium so that it accepts a ordinary grinding disc for the angle grinder, a nice thick one. So that one fits on there. I've got some uh, large washers. I've drilled and tapped it for a eight millimeter thread. So that one goes on the front there like that and lock the disc onto the front of that one. I got one of the hardened tool holders and removed the um, height adjusting nut and all the allen bolts that hold the tool in there. Then I dropped it on the tool post and allowed it to go down as far as it can go and using a thin um, marker pen just drawed across the underside there up against the actual compound slide and then that gives me the exact amount of um, depth or width to actually grind this one off. Next I covered the Myford ML7's slides with some kitchen towel. You can use tin foil or cling film. Never use any cotton cloth or anything like that, any cloth at all, because that can actually get caught on the chuck and wind round it. So next I'm using my Myford milling slide with a vise bolted on the front of that one and I've um, zeroed the tool holder which is in the vise on the front face of the angle grinder disc. I've set the height using the line that I drawed and I've locked the um, slide on the side there. I've set a stop here so that I can allow the um, 
carriage to go in so far at a time and I've set a clock on the back there with a bar on the thread dial indicator um, bolt there so I can allow it to go in about eight thou at a time and then it's just simply a case of using the machine to actually grind that off
and I've used that method to actually grind this one off I've taken about three millimeter off of that one and it worked absolutely perfectly and if it comes out a bit liney you can actually use a coarse uh, diamond at the end of it and just um, go over the surface like that and then you can deburr this with a Swiss file and maybe just give it a little buff up on the um, buffing wheel but it works absolutely perfectly and I did this one in a matter of minutes and now you can see that one will actually drop down over that by three millimeter depth and then I can definitely use the larger um, 12 millimeter shank tools in that tool holder and the only other thing you may have to do, I did with mine, I put a longer stud in the top for the centre height adjuster. And I'm really pleased with that method. This is the ground one and this is the um, milled one. You can see the ground one's got a really nice finish on that as well. Not that it matters too much, but it's nice that it's uh, really nice and tidy and um, now I can actually do all the MyFed ML7 tool holders like this with ease. And if you didn't see my other video where I actually milled these holders off I explained in that one that this in no way actually weakens the tool holder it's only just taking the back edge off here there's still plenty of steel there and there's no way that this will bend or break out under pressure or whatever but the fact is is that you can actually use a whole variety of tools that you wouldn't be able to use if you don't do this and using the larger shank tools like the 12 millimeter square ones here reduces the chance of any tool chatter if you had to have the tool out um, from the actual tool holder um, a certain distance